Here we go, Marvel Puzzle Quest with P.I. McCloud. We're going to do another Crash of the Titans. Let's get into it. Right, the Deadpool Dailies here today. Here he is. We're going to go against Agent Coulson. Who are we using? Got to use Maria Hill. Okay, Shield Operative versus Shield Operative. Got it. Well, let's just hope mine can pull through. Um... If you don't recall correctly, uh, or at all, Coulson's uh, kit is based around countdowns, firing off an ability, getting another uh, one-turn countdown placed with it, which does more damage out of it, plus he makes free AP, two free AP, I should say, for every countdown that finishes. His yellow fires off like five or six extra countdowns that all do varying things as well, which is, you know, really good. It's, it's pretty... I wouldn't say it's like top tier or nothing, but it's definitely not, uh, you know, worthless. It's definitely good stuff. Anyways. Oh, yeah. He's also got a nice power uh, in his purple to swap tiles. Um, if he's got a bunch of his countdowns out, his blue also steals AP based on amount of countdowns out there. He's actually a pretty solid character. Five-star Hawkeye's best friend for sure. Anyways, Maria doesn't have all that. Um, if anything, she has one, she's a one trick pony and her tricks all roll together into a bunch of little powers. These powers all go together and complement each other, but yeah, none of them are that amazing on her own. Probably her best thing is strike tile creation. Um, you look in here at, uh, best of intentions. She makes four really strong strike tiles for strong for six AP at the four star level. Okay. Um, but unfortunately, it also is going to take most of her life away, 90% um, uh, of her base life, if the countdown expires. I could upgrade, upgrade this and get more strikes uh, with more strength, but honestly, the, the countdowns don't increase, you know? So I'm going to make the other ones better. Life Model Ambush makes trap tiles, which do good damage when either team matches them. That's nice. Um... Get out alive does team damage and turns her invisible, which actually saves her from her own death countdown thing here. So, if you cast all three of these like in tandem, she's pretty darn solid. But that's the trick. So, anyways, let's get to it. Um, for the purpose of the crash, let's try on animations. What do you say? I say yes. Just, I don't know, because. I won't always do this, but. Of course he gets that extra blue. I was looking at that thinking I could use that blue to drop, but of course he got it. He's gonna take my purple that I set up for. I get it. He's gonna take my blues. He's gonna just keep taking all my stuff I'm setting up. See, my black's ready. But I'm not going to fire that. Hey, get that gun out of here. Oh, that blows. He's got enough blue that if he fires off his yellow, gets any kind of time, he's going to steal my AP. That's not fun. I need some blue, I need some purple. And they're not giving me either, are they? Um... I see that cascade. I get it. I just don't know if it's worth it. It's going to leave him that purple to get. And I don't... I want the purple, not him. And I know he'll take it. It's one of his colors. So let's take this. Make him do that move. That's right. He ain't going to leave me the purple either. So now we're playing this game of like, no, you do it. No, you do it. There, I finally got some. He's got plenty of his AP so far. I want some of mine. I'm wondering if I should have thrown out the best of intentions already just so I can get my strikes and use them. But I don't want to take that big old hit without being prepared. Pray for purple? Ah, oh, oh well. And of course he gets a blue. Yeah, over this right, he's gonna kill me. <clears throat> he's already beaten me by 6,000 hit points, and that's pretty big at the four at the four star level. 
These crashes aren't to be taken lightly, to be quite honest. I mean, your champed character could fall to another four-star near champ character like this. Oh, boy, if I move this red, I could get some blues with a little luck. Cross fingers? Of course. Why wouldn't you? Um... Wow. I guess I was hoping for a black to fall into place. And that did. Anything to help me, like, kill myself faster, right? What could I do? I could do this twice now. Ooh. That's deadly. It could be a nice gambit, though. Just go for all damage. It's tempting. So I'm looking at my options. I'm not liking what I'm seeing. There's no purples around. There's no blues around. He won't let me have those anyways, but every time they show up... Oh, he's gonna fire off his yellow, and then his blue right now, and then he's gonna steal my AP. So yeah, look at that. See his AP is at 14? He's gonna fire his yellow. It's gonna make a bunch of countdowns out there. That means his blue will be ready to steal all my AP away, which means his black is useless then. So I might as well go out guns firing, right? I'm gonna have four turns of let's get the job done. Time to use that gambit, right? See, here he goes. Here goes his yellow. Here goes his blue. Steal a bunch of my AP. Jerk. He might win this. I think he will, honestly. All these um, tiles here, this is not going to be nice. And I have to break some of these. Oof. I'll break this one. Oh man. Wow, that's a conundrum. If I break this purple here, I'll get rid of the spy, right? But if I do that and he breaks the yellows down here, that allows the, my my black my black tile to fall and that will eventually kill me if I don't kill him first. Also, if I kill this purple, I'll have enough purple to cast my traps next turn. <sighs> Which could kill him, potentially. Or I could just kill my black tile and not worry about it, take this spy damage to the face, and hope to just beat him normally. <sighs> wow. It's all about gambling right now, it seems. How many traps do I make for this purple? It creates four purple trap tiles that deal damage when matched. In other words, that's not worth a gamble, because if I match these purples up here, the only purples that my traps would go on when I cast her are these ones that are scattered. There's none that are near each other in order to make an easy match to even guarantee that we can get that off. So it's not worth a gamble. I'd rather take the, the sure thing right there. course. Man, that stinks. That's going to hurt a lot. <sighs> that green down there is safe for a turn, I think. I don't think he's going to do anything to disrupt that. I'll get this out there. I'll get more strikes. And then I will get rid of this purple so the spy doesn't hit me because that might actually hurt uh, too much. And I'll put up my my life models. Get rid of that last bad intention thingy. Ooh. More of these jerks. One of them's going off right now. Oh, that probably death. And that happens. Dang it. Well, let's go on and try again. This is what health packs are for, right? This time, let's make it a little, well, more guaranteed. I don't know if you remember me from a previous video or two saying that we get these these boosts from the new spicy vault. Um, if you've been collecting spicy tokens, these 
rainbow AP and damage things, they just throw them at you in that vault. So you're going to be spending them. You might as well be using them. You can only stockpile up to 30 of them. And there's actually 30 of them in there. <laughs> and plus, not to mention, you get them sometimes just from daily play. So use them. Let's go. I'm back, Colson. I think we're gonna get them this time. Those boosts are kind of a big deal. He took my black, that was really weird. I'll wait for that. If I can get this black out first, that'd be nice. Hmm, what does I want that match for? I think it'd be smart to do this. I can take the purple, leaves me with the black ready to match. Do that. There we go. That way I can go. Best of intentions. Okay. This will be next turn. It'll be invisible for four turns. It means I'll be invisible during the, the countdowns effect. Okay. Here we go. So now I can't be hurt by my countdown tile because I'm invisible. Note that that doesn't apply to everyone. Um, invisibility doesn't always save you from your own countdowns. Like if you were to put, um, if Five Star Iceman were to take damage and his tile would be put out there, the one that uh, blocks damage, you know, it, it, it hits him back, you know. Um, if you make him invisible via like Invisible Woman or something like that, he would still take his damage. For some reason, Maria's Hill invisibility versus her own countdown is its own set of rules. It's, it doesn't work like most other things do in the game. Can't explain why, it just is what it is. Give me those blacks. Oh man. I know what's gonna happen here and I don't like it. I guess I'll take this blue. It's gonna leave him the yellow. He's gonna fire that off next turn. See, look at that. It missed me. Ha 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 ha. You get to see it in actual practice, people. Honestly, you don't get to see that every day. It's kind of neat. Uh, how much purple am I short? Three. And if I make that match four, that'll only give me two purple. That's cute. And it'll also destroy one of my strikes, and I'm trying not to do that. I've already lost three of them. Oh well, call your cavalry. Only one of them's gonna hit, and that's the spot. You got rid of my strike, you jerk. See, the spy will hit me, so that's a team damage hit. AoE, you know. Now I'm not invisible, so here comes some pain. Whatever. I'm gonna come in guns blazing anyways. Got rid of my uh, countdown, that's cool. Ooh, he's catching up. Okay, one second here. Sorry about the pause there. Let's let them come up. It's okay. We'll finish him off now. Literally. Get out of here. Literally. Get out of here. Alive. Whew. Trying my patience, Colson. Well, that was a Crash of the Titans for the day. Um, if it wasn't any guess before, Maria Hill, while she has some okay powers, um, Colson's better. In this game's case, Colson's way better. Um, his kit's just a little more solid. It's put together good. It synergizes with itself. Maria's stuff synergizes too, but it's just so self-harming. Whereas Colson's does nothing but help every step of the way. Um, the only thing I would think Maria has a leg up on him is the fact that she's got a lot of offense. More strikes, 
team damage um, and those traps. She definitely is out there to hurt, whereas Coulson's there to do a little all of it. Um, countdowns, AP generation, AP stealing, um, and uh, uh, tile swapping. He does a lot of little things that all add up, and he's a great support character because of that. Maria's just there to kind of um, knock heads together and, well, she might get killed by doing so. Anyways, that's Scratch the Titans for the day with Maria vs. Coulson. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.